So this is the image we're going to be recreating today. I believe this was one of her campaign shoots, so I'm excited. So it does look like she used the nude palette. I'm actually going to be using the nude palette and oh, this little mini palette. So because it does look like she's got like purpley brown tones and these are like the best shades. So I have used this before. I do love it. I just personally find I get a lot of fallout. I'm not sure if it's just me. Let me know if you guys have the same thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to give that a go. So let's start with our eyes first. I'm just going to quickly conceal and then let's get straight to it. So I'm going in with the nude palette. I'm taking shade Love Bite with Tease. Do you guys have this palette? I will admit it is so expensive. So I'm just going to start by placing this on my crease. It looks like Huda has um, dark purple around like her sock, like I was going to say her socket. I find these ones are a bit cheaper. I think they're 38. Oh wait, actually that's not that much cheaper. Because it's really, I don't know. So now what I'm doing, I'm just taking this brush. It has a bit of play on it and I'm going to just very lightly start blending that. And I'm going to use this to blend it in. Like that blended, I think, really nicely. So now I'm going to go back in with Love Bite. And this time I'm going in with Raw. So I like to mix colors a lot, if you haven't noticed. And I'm going to go ahead and pack that on. Bring it a little bit closer in, but not past there. Going back in with play, and I'm just going to very lightly blend that all together. I have not done my eyebrows in so long. I kind of forgot how I look like with done eyebrows. Okay, and now I'm going in with my fluffy brush and I'm taking play and a bit, <coughs> a bit of lace. It's like a lilac, yeah. It's a really nice color and I'm going to be putting tapping that all over my lids like the outer part the inner part sorry just like that and then I kind of am blending that up to where everything else was then I'm going back in with love bite and tease and I'm taking raw as well so I'm just using those three shades and I'm just gonna oh, I'm just going to go back in and just like deepen that crease. But now I'm going in with the little Huda Beauty palette. This is the Coral Obsess, Obsess, <laughs> Obsessions. <laughs> I don't even know. And I'm going in with this brown shade and this light one with my Morphe M506 brush. And I'm just going to be packing that on top of the purple. Just going to add a bit more color. Because with her color, Huda, I feel like it's like purpley, browny. You know what I mean? So we just mix them. And then I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and blend it all. Just go crazy. And then just to add a little bit of a pop to our eyes, I'm taking Bear, which is just like a plain white shade. And I'm just popping that right there I'm not bringing that any higher just like kind of give us a little more to work with oh that's basically oh wait no wait, let me see let me see hold on now she did have a liner she has a signature liner I mean who doesn't love a wing liner so I'm going in with the BYS what is this the liquid liner I personally find this quite easy to use I don't really have an issue with it. I just want to make sure I'm in, like you guys can see. Because I've noticed when I do my liner, it's so hard sometimes for me to film it. Because I go like this close and then I'm like, oh yeah, you can't see much, can you? <laughs> so making sure. And then it's like not a huge flick. Liner's on. Now for lashes, I am going in with my Ardell lashes. I did have Huda Beauty lashes, but I lost them when I moved. So 
and her lashes are quite expensive I believe so I'm gonna just like stick to the ones I already have <laughs> thanks so I'm going in with the Huda Beauty this is in Luna the body highlighter now with this one you gotta shake it a lot <laughs> so it comes on very liquidy literally like water so that's like just dripping from my hands literally I'm taking it on the back of a brush and I'm just gonna start by pouncing that in I'm gonna also put it here because she was very dewy <sighs> I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna be taking my Huda Beauty foundation Huda Beauty Jess I don't even know where my head is right now <laughs> anyways this is in shade macchiato so I'm not gonna lie I haven't used huh I haven't used this in a while I personally find it's very thick like I'm probably running out that might be a bit much but Let's do little by little so then I don't cake it on because I actually want this to look good. Okay, I personally don't mind scents in my makeup, but I know a lot of my clients, they don't like that. So I personally don't ever use this um, on my clients. Okay, so I'm going in with now the Huda Beauty concealers. Now, I think I'm going to be taking two shades. I'm going to be taking Sugar Biscuit, I believe that's what it's called. And I don't know what the name of this one is because it rubbed off. <laughs> Sorry. A little bit there. Oh, that looks like a lot. A little bit there. On my nose. Oh, my eyes are going to start watering. Just along there. I have a feeling that these shades might be a bit light for me. <laughs> But whatever, we're going to just rock with it. Now, I am going to be using my Beauty Blender for this because I feel like that's the best way it will look good. Let me go dampen it because it's not damp. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I completely forgot that this sets like a mother and a father. Like, look. <laughs> no. So I'm going to like blend that schnitz out. Oh no, no, no. No. Oh gosh, I feel like that's so white. Yeah, definitely not my shade. I swear I was like blending my chin as I was walking here. And I'm like, <laughs> you know when like you laugh stress? I was doing that. I was like, <laughs> why aren't you blending? And then I'm like, oh my gosh, this sets so quick. So, set, so if you pull, if you use it, don't go and get your blender. You better have the blender ready. So I'm taking my foundation blush. Oh my god, I don't know what looks worse. And I'm just kind of going over my face. It's crazy. It looks so much worse on camera. I think anyway. <laughs> Oh my gosh, do not come for me. I could not believe how white this was. So now I'm taking the Huda Beauty Foundation. The... Oh, I almost broke my nail. I would have cried. The contour in Fair. This is the lightest shade she has. And I'm just going to be... Holy schnitzel. Okay. You know she's always contoured. This does feel so creamy. I just am excited to see how it's going to blend. I'm just going in with my powder because I need it <laughs> right now. I feel like the foundation just cracks a lot. Um, it sinks into like pores and stuff like that. So um, powder is very necessary. So now I'm going in with the 3D highlight palette and I'm actually going to be using the blush Bora Bora. I will admit this is one of my favorite palettes from her. It's just a shame that it is quite expensive. I'm not going to lie. It's just so pretty. It is actually gorgeous. And then what I'm going to do, just to add a bit more dimension, going back in with this and I'm taking Aruba 
the dark shade and I'm taking it on the back of this as well and I'm kind of like over contouring again just because I want a bit more depth yeah now I'm taking a big fluffy brush and I'm just marrying the two together making sure it's all blended so now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette and I'm taking those two shades that we used last time and I'm going to be putting that that <laughs> you better put that right under your eye I'm just putting that okay I almost forgot like a big step how rude of me I'm going in with my favorite highlighter <laughs> well one of my favorite highlighters mouth dives I'm just taking this on an elf brush and I'm just gonna like blend that with my blush alrighty so I was gonna use Huda Beauty's lipsticks but I don't have the red in her shade so I'm gonna just use the Sephora one this is literally in shade 01 it's made in Italy that's good to know so it's just like a really nice red I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth. I'm gonna mainly focus that on the middle. I'm doing a how I overline my lip video. Alright my loves, that's the final result. So I will say I do absolutely love both highlighters, the liquid one and the um, powder one, the powder format. I absolutely love all of them. I think they blend amazing. I am not such a big fan of the foundation and the concealer. I feel like it emphasizes a little bit on my pores. Um, although with a powder, you can kind of make it work. So yeah, it's totally up to you if you want to purchase those. The powders, I mean the palette, the eyeshadow palettes, I think are amazing, although there is a lot of fallout in both of them in my opinion and they are a bit like a bit expensive so again it's up to you if you want to splurge I honestly think you can find maybe more decent priced um, palettes for cheaper and that I think work a bit more effective um, I love her lipsticks I love so much her what else do I love I don't really like I don't know how I feel yet about the contour I, I don't know I have to suss it out because I felt like it was very light for me so maybe like it's better for a subtle look I felt like it was a little bit blotchy um, but then again I want to try it maybe with a different foundation this time and suss that out but yeah other than that she is an, an amazing person she seems like such a sweetheart and she is a big inspiration to me I haven't tried her powders although I've heard they're really good so I would give her about a 7 out of 10 I would say just because her like her range is pretty good it is a bit expensive I'm not gonna lie so again it's up to you I don't personally think you need to splurge if you want to go for it but I mean if I was gonna splurge I would splurge on like maybe Marc Jacobs or Giorgio Armani a foundation I love that foundation but then again it's not as thick as this one this one is fuck with a th 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 thick she thick oh thick she thick <laughs> anyways my loves i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to leave me a comment in the oh wow i just covered my whole decollete with my hair <laughs> no i like it better back so make sure to leave me a comment in the description box below if you like this video and what you want to see next and make sure to give this big big be make sure to give this big video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and again thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it my loves Mwah. until next time bye